हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो आप सबका मैं एक बार फिर से स्वागत करता हूँ आपके अपने चैनल में सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल द गेट एस्पिरेंट्स आर गोइंग टू अपियर फॉर द गेट एग्जामिनेशन सो यू कैन बी फ्रॉम एनी फील्ड एनी सब्जेक्ट बट इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर द गेट एग्जाम दिस फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लास्ट मिनिट टिप्स विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू गेन मोर मार्क्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन so you have prepared now now it's time for the smart work because hard work is already over now it's for the examination and you should look this video very very attentively and note down all the points which i'll be discussing here so without any delay let's start today's video so the first thing is effective use of the virtual calculator in the gate examination yes in the gate examination that will be online of course you know that so there will be a scientific calculator given on the top of your screen and you can use this to calculate any numerical so the thing is if you look into that it will be the scientific calculator it will not be the same as the normal calculator because there will be many different questions which will be having different things to do like log ln and many trigonometry actions so the thing is what you have to do is here you have to click on all these buttons with the help of mouse only yes the keyboard you can't use so that's the problem you can say but if you can practice these many scientific calculators are also present online so you could take the help of them but i would suggest you if the questions are easy the numericals are simple and you can do with the help of simply rough paper and with the vision of your own brain then no need to click on this calculator because that will be very time consuming and timing is very very important so the questions if they are very tough the calculations then only you should go for the scientific calculator which will be the effective use for this in the gate examination so if they are simple then no need to go to this calculator this will be very time consuming next thing i would like to say that the scribble pad yes most of you had asked me that how to use this scribble pad so the scribble pad the size will be 20 to 24 pages will be there approximately and the size is 22 into 15 cm so this is the photograph of the real gate scribble pad which you will be getting on the date of examination so this scribble pad is given to you to note down the rough work so you will do all these rough works here so i would suggest you how to use this efficiently so the paper will be having 20 to 24 pages and i would suggest you if you are having the students will be having the handwriting which will be a bigger size and some students will be having the smaller size so what i will suggest you that you should divide the page let us assume this is the page like this if you are keeping this one vertically so here you should divide it into four part at least or you can also divide it into this category also like this if you are having a bit more size of your handwriting so what happens will be that if you are doing some calculation here it will not be messed up with the next calculation so you can easily demarcate the questions and the numericals which you are doing roughly here solving so you should divide this paper into four blocks which will be very easy for you to know this question is from the previous one and this is from the next question one more thing i would like to say if you are having the smaller handwriting then you can tilt it into horizontal one and you can divide it likewise so in this way also you can divide and do the rough work so what i would suggest you the next thing about this scribble pad is first of all you should go for this page let's assume then you should turn it and again on this page also you have to do so no need to do the backward size of this page so if you are turning that it will also take the time because time is important so one then three then fifth like this these pages you should do the rough work so i guess you are able to get me what i am telling you no need to do the rough work in this side so if all the pages are over then you should tilt the scribble pad completely and you should start from the page 1 so one more thing i should tell you that you should ask the examiner who who are conducting the exam there so you should ask whether they will be providing you the extra scribble pad or not because in some centers they will be telling they will not provide the extra seats so you should ask before that whether they will be giving or not so that you can manage your rough work next thing is number 3 is focus on accuracy so as you know the gate is the exam where the accuracy matters a lot so here in an example i will tell you you should not go for every questions like here and there and you should get negative marking so you should focus on the questions which you know only so that will give you the positive marks and it will decrease the chances of the negative marking so only focus on accuracy don't think that these questions i am not doing so it will give the less mark so you should do on the questions which are confident for your purpose and which you will be able to do it correctly 
Fourth point is avoid new concept before the exam. So this is before examination tip. So don't look for the problems or anyone if it is asking that do you know this problem or do you solve this kinds of problems. So no need to go for the new concept before the examination. The questions will be from your preparation only. Yes, you have to believe that the questions which you have solved, the solutions which you have done, those things will be only coming in the exam. So that will boost your confidence and no need to go for the new concepts before the examination. So the final thing is very important. That is the fifth point, fifth tip is that timing is very important. So timing I have told you that this is the C's of the luck. That means S E A S. That means the first one is S. So S means sleep timing. So if you will sleep early, if you can get up early, you can practice something or revise something. No need to go for new as I said. So you should go for the proper sleeping time so that you will get rest and you can be very much confident and fresh during the exam. Next is E E for exam center. So you should reach the exam center beforehand. So that will also decrease the panicness if you are getting late it will increase the anxiety so the timing for the exam center to reach should be also perfect and you should reach beforehand so this a means alphabet a will be denoting the attempting the questions yes if you are taking longer time to attempt any questions it will increase the anxiety and you will think that you are wasting the time so you should be perfect and sure that you know the question and you should take less time that is the average time to attempt any question so if it is numerical you can take more time if it is mcq or msq you should take lesser time next s for timing is skipping the question so it is the most difficult part which student used to face that is they can't skip the question they will think that if you are skipping the questions you will get less mark but that is the step that is the point where you are losing the mark so you should skip those questions which are thinking that they are consuming more time and you should move on to the next questions which will be beneficial for you which will be easier for you so that it will improve your confidence and improve your score so skip the questions whenever you think that it is taking more time it will not be solved within that much time so guys these were the five important tips which i wanted to tell you for the gate examination i hope you have understood and you have noted down and you will definitely follow these things in the examination to have a good and successful exam so no need to worry about the exam how it will be and all just give your 100% believe in yourself yes if you have 100% belief in yourself then nobody can stop you to conquer the success so that's the thing i wanted to tell you all the very best for the examination my good wishes are always with you all the best take care keep smiling see you guys in our next video